So if you look at CISA's secure by design, they talk about secure defaults in this way, right? So they talk about different approaches to doing secure defaults, eliminate default passwords. So for instance, set on first use type of passwords, force a strong password, and so on is an example of secure default. Reduce hardening guide says, this is actually a very interesting, very interesting point. I don't know how I many of you uh, uh, have done server hardening or component hardening. You will have these huge hardening lists that you'll have to do. But if your product ships as a relatively secure by default product, you will see that your hardening guide size is very little or smaller, much smaller than what it would have been if all of those configs had to be enabled by an administrator and figured out by an administrator. If they shipped with those configs enabled by default and somebody had to turn them off or use some other method to do it, then that would essentially be a much reduced hardening guide size because they've already come pre-hardened and there may be some small configs that you need to do, but by and large, the product comes in pretty hard, right? Actively discourage the use of unsafe legacy features. This is an example where that cryptographic example comes into the picture, right? Uh, using bad encryption algorithms, using bad hashing functions is unsafe legacy feature. So if you use libraries like Tink or Libsodium and so on and so forth, you are essentially eliminating the possibility of unsafe legacy simply because you don't even have them. They don't even give you the access to use those unsafe legacy algorithms, right? Or implement attention grabbing alerts. So it's not always attention grabbing alerts, but even renaming a function like dangerously set or unsafe underscore load would make your developer's life so much easier simply because now they know that, okay, I'm doing something that's potentially unsafe, so I shouldn't be doing it. I saw this recently in a library that I was creating where they said that, do not use this because this is considered unsafe. Implement this or use this flag instead, something like that. Right? That is an attention-grabbing alert. So all of these things are very useful for you to think about secure defaults. 